Hi guys, welcome back. I am combining two days worth of videos in this video again. Um, I think it's day 13 and 14. I should know this, but I can't remember. I think it's day 13 and 14. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll find out as we go along. Um, so I have these two photos. This was a Sunday and I think it was a Sunday. Gosh, I don't even know what I'm journaling about. But this day was a day neither of us were working anyway. And so we decided to get the deck kind of area all cleaned up and ready and tidy and, you know, ready to go for summertime. We we're just really excited. You know, it's December here. It's December everywhere. It's summer here. <laughs> um, and so we're getting ready for our summertime and so it's yeah we're getting all cleaned up outside so that we can enjoy our deck area um the summer because it's just the beginning for us so i used this piece of scrapbooking paper as the base kind of background area and it has like a lot of summer christmas words on it like um it's got you know like merry and bright which you know is just typical Christmas words, but it's also got like summer holidays and Merry Kirihe Mete, which means Merry Christmas in Māori. Um, so it's cool having, it's really cool actually having some um, New Zealand based summer Christmas things because we don't get a lot. We get an awful lot of um, Northern Hemisphere based stuff. So it's a lot of snowy things and winter things. But here in New Zealand, obviously, that is not the case for us. It's summertime and beautiful and warm. And so, yeah, it's really nice having some um, some crafty things that represent that for me. So because this was us getting um, ready for the summertime outside living, um, I decided this was a great time to use that paper. Uh, also, we put up our, some lights around the front of the deck. Um, and so I had this little kind of piece that came off of a like a cut apart Christmas page as well and that's also from this summer collection that I had used I think it was called Summer Yule I think I got it from the warehouse um and they're kind of decorations more than lights I guess but they just sort of looked they looked good so I, was, I decided to include that at the top there not sure whether or not you would have noticed but when I stuck down this photo I used three pieces of double-sided tape and turned that top photo into a little pocket. I had this tiny little card that I decided I would do my journaling in and then it can just slip in behind there because there wasn't a lot of space left on the page and so I just thought my journaling could fit in behind there really nicely. That little 13 is a little um, who and it was designed and drawn by James Burke and yeah so I will link him down below I had this little scrap of like tartan ribbon sort of just floating around on my desk and so I thought I would add that on as like a little tab um so I just go ahead and staple that um along the edge there but I am careful to make sure I staple it into where the double-sided tape would be rather than further in so that I accidentally staple my card into the pocket so if it's just stapled where the double-sided tape is then it shouldn't affect your pocket at all just a little note and then I've glued down that little bit of holly over the top just to, sort of to cover up some of the staples because I don't know it looked a little bit messy so I just added that little bit of holly on there I then cut out this little label and will use this on the page just where I've got it there um so that it kind of overlaps a little bit I'm now having a look through my sticker book to find a little phrase sticker that I want to add into the little label area and I think I choose merry and bright 
Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick that on. I have it so it overlaps and then I just trim off the edge. I don't know why, I just like that look with the label kind of hanging over the edge. It, it seemed to work best for me. So yes, I have chosen it saying Merry and Bright and I've stuck that into that little label area. I'm now moving on to the next page. So I grabbed out this um, piece that you've got, you can see there with the florals kind of on it. Um, and I've decided to use that as the base of my next page. And then I grabbed some packaging from some Rosie Studio stamps or something that I had and I thought it looked cute. So I decided to turn that into a little pocket. I had this little tag so I just used a brad and sort of attached it on there. I liked the interactiveness of it and um, that it could sort of swivel around and move. I just thought that added something yeah just interesting and interactive to the page. It doesn't you know I could have easily just stuck it down but I went with the with the brad and I am really happy that I have. Um, so I'm now again just using three pieces of double sided tape to create a little pocket with this packaging. And that works really well. I put some washi tape over the back of the bread so that um, the things that I decide to stick in the pocket don't get caught on the bread piece and, you know, damage it. So it just, it's a good tip for uh, making sure the bread doesn't get, you know, cause it to be a problem later on. You may have noticed on the left hand side there is like a house piece and you can see through to the page behind it. Uh, that house is a drawing I have done on my iPad. It is a printable on my Patreon and I printed it out quite large on, well, it's, you know, the size of the page and I printed it and stuck it on, didn't stick it on, I printed it on to um, tracing paper that I had. So uh, it you can see through it and I just thought that, I don't know, I liked it. So I decided I would add that in just sort of to break up the two pages because they didn't. They didn't really seem like they were going to fit together super cohesively, so that sort of just broke that up a bit. Um, also, that page beforehand, as you all have seen, was about us getting part of our home ready for summer, so I don't know, I liked it. Here I have added on, as you can see, some little phrase stickers, and I've added on an 11 sleeps left, little piece of ephemera I had. I have now just gone through some bits and pieces that I had already, and chose out a card that I wanted to stick in here. So this day I actually didn't take any photos, nothing particularly that I couldn't remember honestly anything that had happened. Um, I'm doing this retrospectively and so I decided I would add in all the presents that we have bought for our family members. Hence why I have cut out every part of the journaling um, because I know my family watch some of my videos so if they're watching this I didn't want to have that spoil what they're getting for Christmas. So this is the end of the video guys. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it. I will be back very soon with more December daily videos. So if you like this sort of video, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it so much. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.